Look at these squares. Which one is bigger, yellow or green? All these black and white squares usually confuse perception, but it becomes obvious that the green square is larger than the yellow one if we put them away. Eric is a police officer. One night, he was walking home from work and noticed a suspicious woman. She carried a huge bag nearby an expensive house. Eric questioned the woman. According to her, it was her house, and she carried some clothes she didn't need anymore to give away to her relatives. Eric arrested her immediately. Why? There are traces in the snow. Some footprints belong to Eric, and others to the woman. But the woman's footprints lead to the window. Why would she leave the house through the window if it really was her home? Therefore, she's a robber. Someone stole an expensive painting from a local museum. The guards locked all doors and windows in the building and called the police. Detective Roberts found three suspects among the museum visitors. George is an art student, and he was making sketches all day. Helen had a yoga class nearby and decided to check out the new exhibition. And Rick said he was just visiting the sights of the city as an ordinary tourist. Can you spot a robber among them? It's Helen. She hit the painting inside her yoga mat. And the rest of the guys have really small backpacks. Nina is an insurance agent. One day, her client Peter called her to an accident scene. He said that he had arrived at that area for a barbecue party and his friends would be there in two hours. He stopped and got out of the car. Suddenly, the car began to move and fell into the lake. But Nina didn't believe him. Why? She saw the footprints. He pushed the car into the lake himself. After dinner, billionaire Rick felt extremely bad. Doctors said that he had been poisoned. His private detective interrogated the cleaning lady, his wife, and the cook. Each of them claimed that they had nothing to do with the crime. The detective searched the house and found a jar with poison and a glove stained with poison. After studying the evidence very carefully, he realized who had poisoned Rick. How? The glove is left-handed which means that the poisoner was left-handed. The only left-handed person is the cook. He holds a soup ladle in his left hand. Tom and Sarah were walking in a forest. Suddenly, a witch appeared in front of them. He grabbed Sarah and took her to a creepy castle. Tom rushed to the castle. He saw through a window that the witch turned Sarah into a frog. When the witch left the castle, Tom snuck inside to save Sarah. He found a spell book and opened it. There was a potion recipe to turn Sarah back into a human. Which ingredients should he add to the potion? Snail. Take away an S letter and you get a nail. An orange heart without a letter T turns into orange hair. Mr. Green is an old artist. He used to live alone, but he hired three nurses to help him around the house when he lost his sight. One day, one of the nurses found him unconscious in his bedroom. She called the ambulance. Police officers also arrived and questioned all the three nurses. Wendy said that Mr. Green asked her to read him a novel, and then she left him to cook dinner. Amy said that she had played video games with Mr. Green, and he seemed pretty healthy. Diana said, I came over and found him unconscious, and called the police right away. Who's lying? Amy, Mr. Green was blind, and he couldn't be playing video games. Four scientists went to a physics conference in one car. It was raining all day, heavily. They drove into a long tunnel. It was very dark inside. When the car left the tunnel, Tina was unconscious. They stopped and called an ambulance. Detectives questioned all passengers. What were you doing when you were in the tunnel? Alex was listening to music with headphones on and didn't hear anything. Bobby was sleeping and saw nothing. Diana was focused on the road because it was raining and she had to drive carefully. Who is lying? Diana. It wasn't raining inside the tunnel. Lily got lost in a forest. She got thirsty, but there were no lakes or rivers around her. 
What should Lily do? Use the flesh of a cactus, collect water from leaves using a plastic bag, or drink from a dirty puddle? Cactus flesh has toxic elements dangerous for humans. Plus, what a weird cactus it is. These guys don't really grow in forests. Water from the puddle probably contains many bacteria. So the safest option is to collect water from leaves. Bill got lost in a forest. He doesn't have a lighter or matches. Help Bill to build a fire. He should use his glasses as a lens, direct sunlight onto dry grass, and wait until it lights up. He can also try rubbing a branch against another branch, but this process may take hours. Bob woke up in a creepy basement with three doors. There was a woman behind each of them. Can you help Bob find a safe way? Can you see animal claw traces? There's a wild animal behind this door. And the second woman doesn't look safe either. She has spiders in her hair. The third woman is the safest option, even though she looks like a witch. Kim and Stacy went hiking in a forest. They stopped for the night, and Stacy went to collect some berries. Suddenly, a witch appeared out of nowhere and turned Stacy into stone. Kim got nervous and went looking for Stacy, but she met the witch instead. I turned your friend into stone. Find the right stone and pour this potion. It will turn your friend back to human. The witch said these words and disappeared. Can you help Kim to save Stacy? There shouldn't be any grass under a real big stone. Meanwhile, Sarah has only been a stone for a few hours. Therefore, we need a stone with some grass underneath. Voila! It was Jerry's birthday. He brought a big box with chocolate cakes to treat his friends from college. When the class was almost over, Jerry went to the bathroom. He was so excited to celebrate and share treats with his friends, but the box was empty when he returned. Help Jerry find out who has eaten all the cakes. This lady over here seems pretty suspicious. Is this chocolate on her cheek? Let's challenge your color perception. What colors should you mix to get green? The correct answer is B. What colors should you mix to get orange? The correct answer is B. What color should you mix to get pink? The correct answer is A. Look at this picture. We can see Josh falling into a black hole while his colleague Jill is screaming for help. But the very next day, Josh has returned to the space station. How is this possible? It was April Fool's Day and the astronauts decided to play a trick on Jill. Lisa told a police officer that her house had been robbed. The most expensive painting was hanging above the bed, but now it's gone. The officer asked, Have you touched anything here? And Lisa said, No. The policeman recorded Lisa's story, and he looked around the house and arrested her for fraud. Why? The blanket is in perfect order. If someone had removed the picture from the wall, they would have gotten on the bed. There are three options. A desert with a couple of cacti, a sunny meadow with an apple and a glass of water, and a sea beach with sharp rocks. One bucket, one glass, and some plastic bags. Which place would you choose? There's no water in the desert and cacti might be toxic. You can't survive on one apple and one glass of water, but the beach is a great choice. It will provide you with food and you can prepare fresh water using the stuff on the shore. Put a cup into a bucket. Pour seawater, close it with a plastic bag and place a little stone in the middle and leave it out in the sun for a while and it will get fresh water. Detective Fred was found unconscious. According to doctors, he was poisoned. The suspects are Helen, Nick, Jane and Dan. Before the accident, Fred circled numbers in his calendar. 12, 
4, 11. Who poisoned him? It was damp. Fred encrypted the answer using the first letters of each month. Kelly and Sarah gathered together for a cozy sleepover. Sarah opened a dating app and showed Kelly messages from three guys. She asked Kelly to help her choose a good guy. Andrew just bought a new car and offered Sarah to have a ride. Rick sent a picture from an airport and said his boss had sent him on a business trip. Will said he lived alone in a country house. Who is lying? Rick has two tickets in his pocket, and Will doesn't live alone. There are two phones and sunglasses on the table. Therefore, Kelly chose to date Andrew. So, take a look at these two girls. Can you tell which one has a boyfriend? It's the girl on the left. Look, there's someone's tie in the background. Now, take a look at these girls in a cafe. Who's having a date and who came alone? The girl on the right has two sets of dishes, so she's with someone. Jake got in a car accident and lost his memory. He was a popular guy in school, and every girl wanted to date him. Since Jake couldn't remember anyone, some reckless girls decided to take their chance. On Monday, three girls, Emerson, Coco, and Geneva, visited him. Each of them said she was his girlfriend. Can you tell who his real girlfriend is? Take a closer look at Jake's shoulder. He has a tattoo saying J plus G. These must be the first letters of his and his girlfriend's names. So his real girlfriend is Geneva. Esme was having a walk in the forest and got lost. She tried to find her way back home, but instead she stumbled across a witch's house. She pet the cat and asked the witch to take her home. The witch was busy cleaning the house, and she had a riddle for Esme. So, I have two types of pet insects, spiders and flies. I have 32 spiders, and flies make up 50% of my pet insect population. How many flies do I have? <laughs> Esme solved the riddle. Can you? If there are just two types and flies make up 50%, then spiders make the other 50%. There are 32 spiders, so there are 32 flies, too. Lovely. Right before a restaurant was about to open, someone stole all the money from the office. A detective arrived for interrogation. A cook said that he was working hard and didn't have time to walk or gaze around, so he didn't see anything. The security guy said that he was in the bathroom and didn't steal anything. The waiter said he remembered seeing one visitor heading to the office. Somehow, he ignored it and didn't stop them. The waiter got arrested for stealing the money. Why? The restaurant was yet closed, and there couldn't be any visitors. Kennedy woke up in some dungeon. She tried to escape, but the door was locked. All of a sudden, a clock appeared and started ticking. It said that there would be an explosion in half a minute if she didn't crack the code. It was just one number, but the trick was that Kennedy only had two attempts. Luckily, there was a hint. Kennedy tried 60, but it didn't work. What must be her second guess? Remember the clock? When an hour hand points at 1, it means 5 minutes. When it points at 2, 10 minutes and so on. So 12 equals 0. One rainy evening, Poppy drove to her boyfriend's neighborhood to return his hoodie. She walked in the house for a couple of minutes and forgot to lock the car. When she returned, she called the police because her laptop had been stolen from the back seat. The detective said that the girl had lied. Why?
Poppy has a two-door car. There's no back seat in her automobile. Ms. Brown, Ms. White, and Mr. Green are best friends who met up at a restaurant to celebrate their college graduation. Ms. White suddenly noticed one fun fact and said, Look, we're all wearing our colors, but no one wears their color. Yeah, Virginia White, you're right, responded the girl in a green dress. Can you tell who is who? So, Ms. White can only be wearing a green or a brown dress. Since a girl in a green dress responded to her, Virginia White is wearing a brown dress. This leaves us with the fact that the girl in the green dress must be Ms. Brown, and the girl in the white dress must be Ms. Green. Madeline wanted to make her dad the best present for his birthday. The problem was that she had zero ideas. She decided to sneak into her dad's computer and see what he has saved in his online shopping cart. The computer required a password, and Madeline didn't know it. Can you help her figure it out? Look at the desk. There's a note, and it has quite a lot of typos. It could be done on purpose. Find every typo and put them together. O in laundry, extra L in school, I in clean, C in basement, and V in answer. So the password is O-L-I-C-V. Ned works in a club, and his job is to check people's IDs and to not let any suspicious people in. Take a look at these three ID cards and figure out who wasn't supposed to enter the club. So here's the first one. She seems fine, let her in. What do you say about this girl? Don't let her in. The month and date are flipped. She must have a fake ID. Bye, girl. Okay, next. Look. In or out? Look, the guy in the photo has a tattoo on his neck. But in reality, he doesn't have one. That's suspicious. Don't let him in. Okay, here's the next guest. He seems fine to me. And this girl? She seems alright. Green light. Okay, another one. In or out? Look, there's a typo in birth. Official documents don't have any typos, so this ID must be fake. I wouldn't let her in. Melody and Belle are sisters. Melody has cool clothes, and Belle always borrows something from her without permission. One day, Melody was going to a party and couldn't find her favorite top. She knocked on her sister's door. Belle opened the door, but saw it was her sister and shut it. In a couple of seconds, Melody broke into the room and started searching for the top. But she didn't find it anywhere and had to leave. On her way out, she remembered something and managed to find it. Where? Melody remembered that when Belle opened the door, she had her hoodie unzipped. After she shut the door, Belle zipped it. She was wearing the top. Atlas was wandering in a forest and came across a huge mansion. He walked in, and the doors behind him got locked. There were three ways out. Behind the first door, there was a room with poisonous gas that made your skin melt. Behind the second door, there was a hungry wolf. Behind the third door, there was a window, but there was no ladder. How can Atlas escape safely? He should pick the third door. He just walked in, so he's on the first floor. He won't need a ladder to get out of the window safely. Mr. Mason didn't really like a huge tree growing by his neighbor's house because it hid the sun. He was super happy when the tree was no more one day after a raging storm at night. Still, his neighbor called the police and reported Mr. Mason for cutting the tree on purpose. Mr. Mason denied doing it. Who is right? If it were the storm that broke the tree, the cut would be messy. But the tree is perfectly sawn off. So, it's some person's work. Maybe not Mr. Mason, but definitely not the storm. Kaya likes having fun. 
So she decided that she would only tell the truth on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and lie on all other days. So one day, she said, tomorrow I will tell the truth. What day did Kaya say it? If Kaya says it on one of the days she tells the truth, then she will lie because she lies the next day. So she said it on a day she lies. And the next day, she must lie too because she lied about telling the truth. The only case when she can lie two days in a row is Saturday and Sunday. So she must have said it on Saturday. Enola got poisoned after school. A detective interrogated the classmates, and one girl said she saw another girl, Bethany, adding something to Enola's water bottle. No one else saw it. Bethany said that she had been in a cafe after school, and her boyfriend confirmed that. The cafe's employee said that she indeed had seen Bethany and her boyfriend. She even showed a picture from the security camera. Still, Bethany was arrested for poisoning Enola. Why? Take a look at the picture of Bethany. She has a birthmark on her left cheek. But the girl on the security camera who was in the cafe with Bethany's boyfriend didn't have it. It turns out she had a twin sister who lied for her. Kara is an archaeologist who explores ancient caves. So she got trapped in one of them. She found another way, but she was on the bottom of a 45-foot cave. Kara's only option was to climb up. Every day, she could climb up 15 feet, and during the night, she would slip 5 feet down. How many days will it take her to get out? Four. In the evening of the first day, Carol will be 15 feet up, but in the morning of the second day, she'll be at 10 feet. In the morning of the third day, she'll be 20 feet up, and in the morning of the fourth day, she'll be 30 feet up. Then, by the end of the day, she'll make the remaining 15 feet and get out. Mrs. Lawrence grounded her daughter Madison for bad grades. She worked night shifts and had to leave for work. The night was warm and bright. Just like Mrs. Lawrence expected, when she returned home, she knew that Madison had sneaked out at night for a party. How did she understand it? If you paid attention, you could notice that the car was parked differently when Mrs. Lawrence was leaving the house. This means that Madison used it at night. The little sneak. Sam was walking in the mountains. He met a beautiful girl and spent the whole day with her. In the evening, he realized he didn't even know her name. He asked if he could take her out the next day. The girl agreed, but only if he guessed her name. Sam was upset, but luckily, the girl liked him too. She wrote something on a piece of paper. It was a hint. Can you figure out her name? Ignore the numbers and look at the letters. Together, they make up the name Regina. Sam rented a cabin on a beautiful deserted beach. He called Regina and invited her over. But she complained that she'd broken her leg. Sam offered his help and invited Regina to stay in his house until she recovered. He brought her to the cabin in his arms like a real gentleman. Regina was hungry and asked Sam to go buy some food. When Sam returned, he saw that someone had robbed his house. Regina said that she'd been sleeping and hadn't seen the robbers. Sam called the police and said, I guess my new girlfriend is a thief. Why did he think so? Take a look at the cast. At first, it was on the right leg, but now it's on the left one. The police arrested Regina. They also detained three suspicious men. Jake said that he'd been walking with his dog nearby. Bill said that he'd been taking pictures for his blog. And Fred said he always surfed on that beach. Can you guess which of them is Regina's accomplice in the robbery?
It's Bill. Take a look at his arm. He has a tattoo with Regina's name. The next evening, prison guards intercepted a letter from Regina to Bill, but it was encrypted, and the ink was going to become invisible in 10 seconds. Can you crack the code to uncover the plan? It says, escape tonight. Emily was walking in the forest and got lost. A few hours later, she found a creepy cabin and knocked on the door. A witch opened the door and invited the girl to come in. She was having a birthday party. The witch locked the door and told Emily, I will let you go if you help me to divide these three chocolate bars among my five friends equally. How can Emily fulfill this task and escape? She should break each of the bars into five pieces. This way, everyone will get three pieces in total. Emily is jumping with a parachute. She has to land right now. There are four landing spots, a rainforest full of crocodiles and other animals, a deep well she shouldn't be able to climb out of, an erupting volcano, and a hot desert with no water. What should the girl choose? The last option. Look at the picture attentively. There's a city nearby. Emily met Sam online. They liked each other and agreed to meet in real life. Sam said he would be wearing a blue hat. When Emily arrived at the coffee shop, she noticed three guys wearing blue hats. They were standing facing away from her, so she couldn't see their faces. Can you help Emily figure out which one is Sam? Take a look at the mirror on the wall. The first guy has a wedding ring. The second one is wearing the coffee shop uniform. He must be a waiter, not a customer. And the third guy is Sam. He's holding a rose, ready for the date. Henry had had a crush on Emily since he was a first-year student. Finally, he plucked up his courage and asked the girl out. But she said no, because she had a boyfriend, Sam. Henry was very upset. One day, Emily was walking home. Suddenly, three guys came up to her. They wanted to take her money, but the girl didn't have any. She didn't know what to do. She tried to call 911, but the guy snatched the phone from her hand. Luckily, Henry happened to pass by that place. He saw what was happening, ran up to the guys, and yelled, Stay away from her! I've called the police! One of the criminals shouted, Let's go! Henry called the police! And the guys ran away. Emily said, Leave me alone, Henry. That was stupid. Why did she say so? The girl realized it had been a setup. Otherwise, how would the guys know Henry's name? Sam wanted to give Emily a perfect gift for New Year's, but he absolutely had no idea what to get her. He decided to check out what she saved in her shopping cart on her laptop. When Emily went to take a shower, Sam sneaked into her room and turned on the computer. It required a password, but Sam didn't know it. Luckily, there was a note lying next to the laptop saying 7337. Sam tried it, but it didn't work. What's the password? Sam should try... Three 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 seven seven seven. Voila! Sam discovered that Emily was dreaming of having an electric piano. He went to a musical instrument store and bought the best piano he could get. On his way home, Sam realized that he'd forgotten his wallet at the cashier's desk. He returned, but the wallet wasn't there. The police arrived quickly and questioned three witnesses. The cashier said that she hadn't seen the wallet. Mike said that he'd come up to the cashier to ask about violins, but he didn't see any wallets. And Diana said that she'd been talking on the phone with her husband. Who stole the wallet? It was Mike. 
No one specified where Sam had left his wallet. Mike knew it because he had taken it. Mark, Sam's uncle, put a $100 bill inside his desk drawer and left for work. When he came back, the money was gone. He questioned three people. His wife said, I put the bill under the book on the desk. The gardener said, I put it inside the book between pages one and two. The cleaner said, I saw the bill sticking out of the book. I was afraid it'd get lost and moved it between page two and page three. Mark asked Sam to help him figure out who the thief was. After a while, the guy cracked the case. Do you know who stole the money? It was the gardener. Pages 1 and 2 are the opposite sides of the same sheet. Emily got a new job as a hairdresser. In the middle of her shift, her manager saw some hair strands on the floor and asked, That's weird. Whose hair is this? Look at the three ladies. Can you guess who this blonde hair belongs to? This dark-haired lady has natural gray hair, which means that the hair can't be hers. Look at this lady's backpack. She's a delivery worker, not a client. It means the hair on the floor belongs to this woman with blue hair. Emily gave her a haircut and dyed her hair blue. According to Emily's work contract, she has to do four haircuts, two hair dyes, and three stylings during one day. Each haircut costs $45. Hair dye is $70 and styling costs $20. Can you calculate how much she's earned today? The girl has earned nothing. Look at the sign on the door. They're closed on Sunday. How can we make sure that today is Sunday? Look at the TV on the wall. It shows the time and the day of the week. Sam invited Emily to a fancy party. They arrived at a restaurant that was full of celebrities. There, they met Emily's favorite actress, Diana. After a while, Diana fainted in the middle of the dance floor. Someone had poisoned her. Emily wanted to help and decided to find the criminal. She questioned three suspects. Diana's friend Bill said, I've known Diana for ages. I would never hurt her. Diana's best friend said, I was fixing my makeup in the ladies' room when she got sick. And Diana's husband said that she had left him to get some drinks. He stayed at the table and didn't see anything. Emily knew for sure that one of these people was lying. Can you guess who it was? The best friend. There's a bottle of poison in her makeup bag. After dinner, Sam gave Emily a card with these weird images. Emily began to cry and said yes. Why? It's a rebus. It says, will you marry me? Emily and Sam invited several friends to celebrate their engagement. Emily decided to prank the guests. She put a stick in a packet of hot sauce. And then she placed the whole thing inside of a cup. She served the drinks and turned her camera on to film the unlucky guest's funny reaction. Can you spot which cup is the dangerous one? This one. The straw in it is darker. Sam decided to pay back and prepared another prank. He cut off the bottom of two paper cups. Then he joined the two cups like this. After that, he served the drinks to the guests. But Emily immediately understood which cup was different. Have you guessed too? This one. It's a little taller than a regular cup. One of Emily and Sam's friends, Josh, made a good investment and earned $1 billion. He wanted to give the guys a generous wedding gift. But first, he decided to ask them to solve a tricky riddle. If they managed to crack it, they'd get their dream house. Look at these four groups of pencils. The task is to rearrange them in groups of one, two, three, and four with one single move. Can you help Emily and Sam?
they should take the second pencil from these four and put it in here. Now they have groups of one, two, three, and four. Easy! After winning the lottery, Gerald got very rich. He bought a huge villa and hired an art dealer to invest in some masterpieces. The art dealer convinced Gerald to buy a very expensive antique statue for his collection. One day, Gerald's daughter came to visit him. He boasted about the statue, but his daughter began to laugh. She said that scammers had deceived Gerald. Why did she say so? There's a small engraving on the statue. It says, Made in China. Wendy is the president of the local reading club. Its members usually gather in her home because it's large and beautiful. But one evening, someone hit Wendy on the head in her library after the club meeting was over. The girl didn't see who it was. The next day, police officers questioned three suspects. Melanie said that she had left the meeting earlier that night. She had a night flight to Paris. Kelly said that she had been the last person to leave Wendy's house, but she hadn't noticed anything suspicious. Amy was absent that day because it was her husband's birthday. Who is lying? Melanie, if she had a flight to Paris, why isn't she there? Take a look at this picturesque field. Can you see anything weird? This sunflower over here. Josh worked as a security guard at a large international airport. One day, he received a call from the cleaning staff. They found someone's dog. Josh had to figure out who was the dog's owner. Take a look at these passengers. Can you identify the dog's owner among them? This guy over here has a bone in his bag, and there's dog hair on his pants. He must be the owner. Take a look at this pattern. Can you spot the odd emoji? This parrot over here has different wings. Jason has recently been hired as an art gallery assistant. He got a large delivery one morning. Five rare paintings from the Middle Ages. Jason called his boss immediately and told her that two of the five paintings are fake. How has he figured it out? There's a skyscraper in the background of this painting. And this picture seems to be authentic, but look at the sky. There's an aircraft flying among birds. Take a look at this picture. Can you find the odd emoji? These guys over here. After a long road trip, Lily finally arrived at her friend's wedding venue in another city. The food looked very appetizing and Lily was starving. So she headed for the table, but suddenly the lights went off and Lily fainted. She woke up the next day with a terrible headache. Just like all the other guests, none of them remembered anything about how the party ended. Look at these two pictures. They were taken before and after the lights went out. Can you guess what happened at the party? The balloons popped. Someone had filled them with sleeping gas. This person wanted everyone to fall asleep. It might have been done to help the bride run away because she's absent this morning. Jill is an art teacher. One morning, she entered her art studio and got very surprised. The entire wall and the students' drawings were stained with paint. Jill interviewed three suspects. The cleaning lady hadn't cleaned the class the day before because she'd had a day off. Jill's student, Rosie, said that she had left the studio at 6 p.m. At that time, everything was okay. Another student, Rick, confessed that he had brought his girlfriend to the studio to show off his paintings. But they left at 8 p.m. Who is responsible for this mess? The cat! It got into the studio through an open window. Take a look at this picture. Why did he tie his friend down?
It's a full moon. His friend began turning into a werewolf, and the guy got scared. Two guys are trying to get Hillary's attention by showing off their money. The first man sends her a selfie of him near a private jet, and the second sends a photo of him wearing a pilot's uniform and flying a jumbo jet. Whose salary is higher? Pilots earn good money, so the second guy is definitely well off, and the first guy probably just works at the airport. Four artists gathered in a park to paint landscapes. Having finished his first drawing, Bill went to the bathroom. When Bill returned, he found out that his drawing was ruined. He was very upset and questioned his friends. Stephen didn't see what happened. He was away buying coffee for everyone. Dylan didn't look at the paintings. He was distracted by a conversation with a beautiful woman. Kelly said that she'd been painting her own portrait in another part of the park. Who's lying? Kelly, if she had been painting, why is her canvas blank? Stephen had a rough day at college, so he decided to relax and went to his favorite restaurant with other students. Sam, Jill, and Jules each ordered a cappuccino. Rebecca, Peter, and Helen each ordered an espresso. What drink did Stephen order? Cappuccino or espresso? Espresso. Stephen has two letter E's in his name, just like Rebecca, Peter, and Helen. Can you spot anything weird in this picture? This coconut doesn't look as fresh as the others. Henry was walking along the street. Suddenly, a witch appeared in front of him. She opened a portal, grabbed Henry, and took him to her castle. Henry asked her to let him go, but the witch said, No, you will serve me forever. Henry had a notebook and a pen in his pocket. He offered the witch a deal. If I write your weight in this notebook, will you let me go? The witch was very intrigued and agreed. Henry wrote something down, and she had to let him go. What did he write? As promised, Henry wrote, your weight. Can you guess the food by these emojis? It's sushi. How about this one? Hot chocolate. Let's take it up a notch. Can you guess the dish by these emojis? It's pizza. How about this? It's a cheeseburger. Can you guess the food by these emojis? It's fruit ice. How about this combination? Any ideas? That's right, it's french fries. The next product. You probably like it hot. A peanut butter cookie. How about this combination? That's right, it's a salad. Jack bought his girlfriend an expensive dress for her birthday. He left the dress in his wardrobe and left the house. When he returned, he saw that the dress was gone. Only three people were at home that day, and he questioned them. Jack's sister, Laura, said that she'd been cleaning the house since morning. Jack's mother, Rose, had been planting flowers in the garden. And Jack's aunt, Nina, had been cooking a birthday dinner all day long. Who stole the dress? It was Jack's mother. There are no flowers in the garden. Take a look at this picture. Can you find the odd emoji?
this guy over here. One day, Mr. Blue, Mr. Red, and Mr. White met for dinner. When they took off their jackets, Mr. Blue drew everyone's attention to the fact that each of them was wearing a shirt whose color was different from their last name. The man in the white shirt looked surprised and said, Yeah, Mr. Blue, you're right. Can you figure out what color each man was wearing? Mr. Blue can be wearing only a white or red shirt, but we know for sure that a different man is wearing a white shirt. This means that Mr. Blue must be wearing a red shirt. Mr. White could be wearing a blue or a red shirt. But the red shirt is already taken by Mr. Blue. Therefore, Mr. White is wearing a blue shirt. That means Mr. Red is wearing a white shirt. How about this picture? Do you see any odd emojis here? This one over there. Jessica was a famous art dealer. Many painters were dreaming of working with her. One day, she entered an art class and noticed a stunning landscape. Wow, who painted this masterpiece? She asked. Three artists came up to her. Each claimed he was the author of the painting. Can you help Jessica identify the real author? It's the guy over here. His palette contains exactly the colors that we see in the painting. Take a look at this picture. Can you spot what's wrong here? Dolphins don't swim in forest lakes. Once, a strict king ruled his kingdom. The magical town where he lived was surrounded by high walls. No one was allowed to leave the town, and anyone who wanted to enter the town had to have special documents. If they didn't, they were sent away. The Magic Kingdom was connected with the rest of the world with a wooden bridge. It was under the watch of the king's wizard, who drove away all uninvited guests with his magic. He would walk out to check the bridge every five minutes, and he would then stay inside for another five minutes. To cross the bridge, a person needed nine minutes. And still, one citizen managed to escape the town. How did he do it? The man was walking across the bridge for about five minutes while the wizard was inside. After that, he turned back and started walking toward the town. When he reached the wall, the wizard asked for his documents. The man didn't have any, so he was sent away. Maggie is an art critic. One day, she decided to visit a fancy restaurant famous for its unique art collection. Maggie took a seat and began to study the paintings hanging on the walls. When the waitress approached her table, Maggie asked how old those paintings were. The waitress said that they only had 18th century art pieces in the restaurant. Maggie left that place immediately and wrote an angry review on their website. Liars! Why? Look at this portrait. Do you recognize this face? It's the waitress. It's very unlikely that she's more than 300 years old, unless she's a vampire. Kim and Ashley are best friends. They decided to spend summer vacation in Italy together. They were very lucky to buy cheap plane tickets. Their flight was at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, when the girls arrived at the airport, they realized it was the wrong one. Now they have two options. Take a high-speed train for 100 bucks to go to the right airport, or stay here and buy tickets for a later flight for $400. What should they choose? The second option, look at the clock on the wall. It's 9.55 a.m. The boarding for their flight is already over. They won't make it even if they take the high-speed train. Kim and Ashley bought new tickets. They went to the airport restaurant to drink coffee. But one weird detail scared Kim away. She suggested they should leave that place as soon as possible. What did Kim see? This woman over there is a zombie. Wow, how did she get through security? 
when it was finally time to board the plane, it turned out there were no more economy class seats left. Kim and Ashley were offered to fly in business class. There, the girls saw three people. When the flight attendant served them fresh juice, she whispered that Kim and Ashley were extremely lucky. They were about to travel next to a famous Italian billionaire. Can you guess which of these passengers is the billionaire? This glamorous lady is a good candidate, but it's very unlikely a billionaire will wear a 100% polyester coat. This guy's business suit is very elegant, but look at his shoes. They seem quite cheap and worn out. This funny gentleman must be the real billionaire. Although his outfit is rather casual, his gold watch looks very expensive. The glamorous lady began to chat with Kim and Ashley. She told them she had recently visited an exotic island with her friends. Then she showed the girl some pictures. When the lady went to the bathroom, Ashley whispered to Kim, This woman is a liar. She photoshopped this picture. How did Ashley know that? It's all about the shadows. They all look natural, except for this one. The glamorous lady took a sip of her juice and started coughing. Suddenly, she fainted and fell into the billionaire's arms. He was ready to shout for help, but Kim stopped him, saying the woman was faking it. How did she know that? Look at the content of her bag. It's full of the billionaire's pictures and magazine articles. She also has a tattoo with his portrait on her leg. This woman is obsessed with him. It was lunchtime, and the billionaire offered Kim to play a game. There were three boxes. One of them contained a meal. There was a statement on each box, but only one of them was true. Can you help him figure out which box has food inside? If the food is in the first box, there are two true statements. And if the food is in the third box, there are also two true statements. But we need just one true statement. That's why the food can only be in the second box. Kim opened the box. She saw a delicious meal and a bank card. The billionaire said, congratulations, you've won $5 million. Enjoy your trip. Kim and Ashley landed in Rome and went to get their luggage. It turned out that Ashley had had the same suitcase as two other passengers, and they had a little quarrel. Can you help distribute the three suitcases among these people? The first suitcase belongs to this woman. It's covered in her dog's hair. The second suitcase has some traces of a star sticker. You've probably noticed it before on Ashley's bag. And the third suitcase belongs to this man. Since Kim and Ashley were now very rich, they decided to find a real estate agent who could help them rent a luxurious villa. They wanted to spend their vacation there. The agent showed them three houses. Can you help the girls choose the best one? There are cockroaches in the first house. Mm, They won't make very pleasant neighbors. The second house is too old. There's a crack in the wall, which doesn't look safe. And the third house looks pretty good. As for the pool, it can be easily cleaned. Yes! Kim and Ashley left the villa and went sightseeing. When they returned, they found out that someone had stolen their passports from the safe. The girls called the police, and they interrogated three suspects. The chef was too busy making dinner for Kim and Ashley. The cleaner was dealing with the pool all day, and the gardener said he had been outside planting flowers. He didn't notice anything suspicious. Who's lying? The gardener. If he planted the flowers, where are they? The police returned Kim and Ashley their passports and arrested the gardener. The next day, the girls went shopping. Sellers wanted to take advantage of rich and naive tourists and offer them overpriced souvenirs. Only one of these three items is a good deal. Can you guess which one? Take a look at this Venetian mask. It says made in China, which means that this mask can't be real. This magnet is of very low quality. The word Italy is spelled with an error. It simply can't cost $100. This blue cheese doesn't look fresh, but it's normal for this kind of product. 
This delicacy is the only thing that Kim and Ashley can buy here for a fair price. The ladies went to the local museum and got lost in its corridors. They found a strange basement with three doors. There was a time portal to the Middle Ages behind the first door. Behind the second door, there was an evil mummy. It cursed anyone who bothered it. Finally, the third door was protected with a laser alarm system. It cut through anything that touched the laser beams. Which door should the girls choose? The second one. The mummy is sleeping peacefully inside its sarcophagus. If Kim and Ashley are quiet and don't come close, they can just walk by it. When the girls got outside, they saw a crowd of reporters around the museum. Someone has stolen the most expensive painting. The police questioned three suspects. Giovanni, the cleaner, said he had been washing the bathroom when the theft happened. Hmm. Luca, the museum guide, saw a suspicious woman with a large folder not far from the crime scene. And Bianca, the suspicious woman, was just drawing sketches as part of her art school homework. Who's lying? Luca. He has a rolled canvas under his shirt. Kim and Ashley came to a restaurant to enjoy the local cuisine. But they noticed a vampire among the visitors. So the girls decided to leave. Which visitor is the vampire? This elderly lady is wearing sunglasses in the evening. Also, she doesn't have a shadow. Then Kim and Ashley took a boat trip. A local photographer took their picture and printed it on two similar t-shirts. Then he offered the girls to buy these souvenirs. But Kim noticed three differences between these pictures. Can you see them too? Here they are! The ladies came to a bakery. Kim ordered a salad and coffee, while Ashley wanted to eat something sweet. The barista offered her three remaining options. Help Ashley make the right choice. Someone has already tasted this cupcake. Ants live inside this donut. It's probably not very fresh. But this croissant is safe. The green color is pistachio glaze, not mold. In the evening, Kim and Ashley arrived at the villa. The owner was there, and he was furious. He hadn't received any rental payment because Kim and Ashley's card presented by the billionaire was blocked. Suddenly, they heard breaking news on TV. Some scammers had robbed the billionaire. All his accounts were empty. Three people commented on the situation. The billionaire's driver said his boss had many enemies. The billionaire's girlfriend complained that now she couldn't even afford a new haircut. And his PA said they would try to return the money soon. Ashley knew for sure that one of them was hiding something. But who? The girlfriend. If she had no money, how come she left the boutique with so many purchases? The owner of the villa offered Kim and Ashley a deal. If you manage to prepare my favorite cocktail, I'll forget about your debt. The girls had no choice, so they agreed. The man gave them the recipe, but the last ingredient was coated. Can you guess what ingredient it is? If you mix blue and yellow, you'll get green. So the ingredient must be green grapes. Next morning, Kim and Ashley woke up locked in a room with two doors as the only exit. If they chose the wrong door, they would stay in the room forever. And if they picked the correct door, they would end up with loads of jewelry, money, and designer clothing that would be enough for the rest of their lives. Two guards were standing in front of them. One guard always lied, while the other always told the truth. Kim and Ashley didn't know their identities. The girls could only ask one question. What should they ask? The question should be, if I asked the other guard which door leads to the treasures, what would he say? If they asked the guard who always tells the truth, he would say that the other guard would point to the wrong door. And if they asked the liar, he would point to the wrong door too. In either case, both guards would point to the wrong door. So Kim and Ashley should just choose the other door.